Last week's outcome focused on reading, writing, listening, speaking, vocabulary, grammar. Our learning outcomes for this week are reading, taking notes and making outlines, writing, writing structure of an introduction, listening, Answering sentence completion questions. Speaking. Giving more detail. Vocabulary. 10 academic vocabularies. Grammar. Overview of word forms. Welcome to EAP Space. Today at EAP Space, we will be playing a drawing game. We will have one person drawing on the board and explaining their drawing whilst two people are listening and drawing what is being said on the little boards that they are holding. So this is a fun little game to improve listening and to improve the clarity of your speech skills. Because if you say things wrong, then people will draw things wrong. So I hope you enjoy it. Are you all ready? Yep. I want you to grab your pen, go into the direct center of the screen, and just draw a massive circle. Okay, medium, medium size. <laughs> and now I want you to do big zigzags all around the circle. Is it sunflower? You would think that. <laughs> <laughs> but now I want you to draw two circles on the upper half of that massive circle and now I want you to draw an arrow facing towards the left in between the circles but like slightly underneath on the yeah facing the left and now I want you to draw like a decent sized circle underneath the arrow and in that circle I want you to draw zigzags all around as well inside it now I want you to draw uh, an oval that's diagonally on on the uh, right side of the whatever that is. But um, it, it, the circle is covered part by parts of the original circle. Now I want you to draw a sliced sausage on the end of that circle. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Opposite of that sausage, I want you to draw two sliced buns that stack on top of each other. And on those two sliced buns, I want you to draw some zigzags. Underneath this thing. Which thing? <laughs> okay, underneath the biggest circle you've drew so far, I want you to draw two medium-sized tiny buns again, facing downwards, sliced, remember? And with the zigzags on the tip once again. Can you guys guess? <laughs> I have no idea what this oh, is. No idea. What is this? Do you guys give up? <coughs> um, yes. Pretty much. Okay. <laughs> it's a fat tiger. <laughs> what? Oh my god. I mean lion, lion. <laughs> uh, let's see those. Let's see those. Okay. <laughs> so, I would say Sam is the winner for this round. Because he got, he at least got the teeth right. <laughs> Towards the center of that circle, draw a um, medium oval in the middle of the page. Within that circle you just drew, draw another two circles, space them apart. Now, above that oval, let's put one um, circle closer to the left of the oval. Don't have it stuck to the oval though. Sitting up top, and then another circle on the other end of that oval. Now, you know how we drew that big circle at the start? Let's draw um, two triangles. So the first one at the top, um, closer to the top right of the circle, and then another um, triangle closer to the top left of the circle. And now, at the very bottom of that large circle, draw a rectangle, a 
small rectangle. At the left of that rectangle, draw a triangle with the tip sticking to the rectangle and the base of it um, going towards the left of the, um, of the page. Now, on the other side of that rectangle, draw an identical triangle where the apex of that triangle is touching the rectangle and the base is towards the right of the page. Does anyone want to have an idea of what, um, what it is? What is it? A cat? It's not a cat. But in the two circles above the oval that contains the two circles, draw another circle. Is it an owl? No. I feel like it's a very clear description. Is it a bat? No! <laughs> Is it a cat? No. A dog? No. A fish? No, there's no way. Okay, <laughs> okay, so I'll give you guys one more clue. At the right side of that big circle, draw an oval. And oh. Then, yes. <laughs> oh, I don't know. And then at, <laughs> up, at the end of that circle, draw a pearl. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so who won? Cat won. Alright, fine. She wins Yay. this round. <laughs>
And what's that? Uh, deforestation. <coughs> oh. Huh? Okay. Deforestation. Mm, they're both not really <laughs> <laughs> anywhere close, but I like Jenny's idea the best. It looks pretty cool. Very abstract. Oh, I like it. thank you. Maybe. Yay! Jenny, yay! yay. And then let's rub off the bottom part. Draw a line on it. In the half over, draw a small circle on the left side of the half over. On the right side of the half over, draw two half circles, two half overs. On top of the half over, draw two straight lines and then draw a shape that looks like a cloud. And at the bottom of the half over, draw sort of like a small triangular. And then at the bottom of the straight line, draw a wave. Mm. <laughs> Do you guys want to guess one of those? It's a beach. Yeah, an uh, island. Uh, oh, it's a sail. It's what? a boat. Is it an uh, island? Uh, <laughs> The location is correct, but um, is it an ice cream? Not ice cream. <laughs> it's a it's a beach. It's something at the beach, but oh, I got it. It's uh, it's bubble tea. <laughs> Why? Why is it bubble tea? Oh, okay. I already know. It's a fish. <laughs> <laughs> what type of fish is that? On top of the um, half over, you can draw like another triangle. Half triangle, maybe? Like shark. Not really. A shark? What? A fish? No. Oh, oh, is it a whale? Yes, it's a whale. Oh, I said dolphin. Well, it's not the <laughs> same. <laughs> whale is whale. No, no, because dolphin, I said dolphin. Dolphin, no, dolphin is a whale, that's why. No. So it's pretty close. Oh, okay. So that drawing is so good. No, it looks really It looks like a big fish. Okay, who wins? This is a hard choice. Um, I guess, I guess you win because you know you have at least you have that cloud and the two lines and also I don't know the triangle at the bottom <laughs> as well looks like a tail. Okay. Yep, James won. Yeah, yeah that's right. <laughs> Sam is First not point. I'm sorry, you did very well. It looks like an ice cream. So you got a point. I got a point, you got a point, and you got a point. So how do we find the winner? Mm. If only Jeff was here. Yeah, that's true. He's that guy. Hey, oh! Is that you, Jeff? Yes, yes I'm right. here. <gasps> it's magic. So here's how we're we gonna settle this. I'm gonna describe a picture, and then you guys will have 10 seconds to draw it. Right. Okay. Um, so try to remember what I'm saying right now. That is really important. Okay. On the left side of your of your screen, right, I want you to draw a big triangle with some leaves on it. And then on the right side of the triangle, I want you to draw a square. And then on top of the square, there is another square on the top left corner. And then I also want three squares inside it, the big squares. And then those three squares, I want it across on it. All right, go guys. Alright, that's it, that's it. I reckon Jenny got this one. <gasps> Yay! So Jenny's the winner. Yay! But what is it? What is this? The house near a tree. <laughs> oh. Oh. Fantastic. <sighs> Yay! I, got it. I should have won that. I'm the best. <laughs> <laughs>